This is Boss, the car that won the DARPA Challenge of 2007 for self-driving vehicles. The vehicle uses GPS and lasers and radar to kind of figure out where it is in the world and look out and see where the other cars are and how to drive safely around them. The big silver box over here is the car's brain and each it's a compact PCI chassis. Each of these is a Core 2 Duo, so there's about 10 of them in here and they're running Ubuntu 606 Linux. Up here we have our hard drives where we can store all the telemetry, everything Boss saw and thought. So if it makes a mistake, we can go back and look at why that happened. And it's about a terabyte of storage there. Uh, we have a monitor and keyboard so we can debug things. On the left here, we have our GPS and a planning system, which, use, uh, which uses GPS data and an inertial measurement to figure out where the vehicle is. Some safety hardware, flux capacitor, and power system. GPS is fairly, you know, it's not down to the centimeter really. How does it avoid running over like my dog, say? Well, so, you know, the GPS wouldn't tell you where your dog is, so it uses the lasers to look out and see where, where your dog is and tries to, to avoid it. And then we use lasers on the back of the vehicle to look down and see where the lane markings are. So as it's driving along, it can detect those and kind of center itself or register itself to the road. So how long was this in development? This is a very complicated endeavor, I'd imagine. Uh, the actual Urban Challenge, this vehicle, we started working on uh, about a year and a half ago. Uh, mm -hmm. So we had about a year, a year and a little bit before the race. So the challenge was a 60 mile race um, in a suburban environment. Uh, the vehicle had to be able to drive among other traffic. So on, uh, on challenge day, there was uh, 10 other vehicles out there with it and 50 human driven vehicles. Uh, it had to stop at stop signs, it had to yield for traffic, it had to be able to park, and it had to be able to do it all completely autonomously. That means without remote control, without somebody in it, it making all its own decisions. So how long until I can just kick back on the highway and uh, let you know my own version of boss just do the driving? What, what do you think, uh, 10 years, 20 years? How, how far away is that? We think uh, kind of from a technologic point of view, it's about a decade out. So maybe by 2020, you'd be able to buy a car that has these features, you know, maybe a subset of what Boss can do right. and get you between one place and another without you having to worry about it.